Here we are, week two, and this is the first full game that Roddy McLeod plays as a safety for the Indianapolis Colts, week two against the Jaguars. And not only is it the first game he's played, uh, you know, full game, but look at this. He's down in the box. He's not used to playing box. He's been up sideline to sideline safety in the NFL his previous 10 years. Comes to Indianapolis. Gus Bradley's like, dude, I'd love to see what you could do in the box. And let's look. It just takes no time, zero time to show what he could do in the box. Watch this as this ball gets handed off to the running back. Keep an eye on. Oh, look at that. Nope. You ain't going nowhere. That's right. That's a tackle for loss. Rodney McLeod just jumps straight in and blasts the running back behind the line of scrimmage. He don't care, you know. He don't care. That's his job. And he does it with enthusiasm. Join me in this video as we go through Rodney McLeod's 2022 Indianapolis Colts highlights. And we break down all the great plays that he done this season. Let's get to it. It's week three against Kansas City, and he's back to playing all over the place. They use him in the box. They use him deep. Let's take a look. Rodney McLeod, keep an eye here. He's deep. Let's watch what happens. Oh, my. He is so wide open. No, no, he's not. Now, hold on. Now, you're looking at this, and you're thinking, my goodness, you know, what did he just do? Because look at how much space there is between him and the targeted receiver. And he closes that, realizing, oh, there's a guy wide open right here. He dives. And you look, and they're both diving at the ground. So you're thinking, this is a low throw. Indeed, it is a low throw. Because he's behind him. He don't want, the Patrick Mahomes don't want that ball uh, up high, maybe tipped, and end up being a pick, you know, by McLeod. So he throws it low. Let's take a look at the other angle to see exactly how this ball was played. All right, so here we are on the end zone view, and you can see Rodney McLeod right here at the bottom of the screen. This is a long play, so let's keep an eye on this. He's going to come out of the view for a second here. Mahomes is pushed out of, back, uh, out of the pocket, kicks back. He sees it right there, wide open, throws the football. You don't see McLeod yet? There, there you go. You see they're both right there. The ball is easily catchable. What McLeod does is get his hand out there, as you can see, and gets his hand in the way of the pass, okay? This is a beautiful pass defense by Rodney McLeod. This is something that absolutely was locked down in a key moment in this game to help the Indianapolis Colts defeat the Kansas City Chiefs again. Oh, but McLeod was not done in this game by no means. No, 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 no. Kansas City had the ball. Patrick Mahomes has the ball late in the game with a chance to drive to score to win the game. And let's take a look at what happens here. Throws the ball. Oh, what a... Oh, wow. What a play. This is a tag team play right here between Rodney McLeod... And Stephon freaking Gilmore. Let's get a better angle to see exactly what happened. Here we are with the end zone view. Let's take a look. As you can see, Rodney McLeod's calling out people, right? He's over here hey, saying, set, look, set, set, set. And Travis Kelsey, that's the guy that he's going to be on. Let's take a look and watch this. As Patrick now steps back, throws. Oh, what a play. What a play. Patrick Mahomes steps back, throwing the football, pump fakes, gets on this side. Look, first off, Gilmore is beat a little bit, but his ability to cut back inside. Look, McLeod isn't even near the play right now, but he's sitting back, watched Mahomes, watching Mahomes. He sees the ball throw. He follows the football with his eyes, running towards it. Gilmore gets in, knocks the ball up in the air. McLeod still looking. And his reaction, never taking his eyes off the football, was able to react to it and catch this interception and seal the game. What a play, Rodney McLeod. Here's a beautiful play by Rodney McLeod in zone. 
in zone. Remember this, okay? Here's Rodney right here at the safety, playing a little bit shallower than, you know, uh, your deep sideline to sideline guy. Now, let's take a look at this because this is absolutely gorgeous. Watch his play here. He reads, reacts, and knows exactly what's happening before the play happens. What? He knew this was a screenplay. Watch what he does here. Immediately, he notices guys kicking out to get a block, right? And takes off immediately for the, the lane that the ball is going to be thrown at, avoids the blocker, gets his shoulder, gets down low around the blocker, and dives in, makes this a tackle for loss. Look at that. That is a massive tackle for loss. That's three, four, that's four yards. Four yards behind the line of scrimmage. Rodney McLeod makes that tackle. In zone. What? Rodney McLeod is 180, 185, give or take, you know, somewhere in that vicinity. Derrick Henry, 245, 250, big dude. Rodney McLeod ain't afraid of no Derrick Henry. Let's take a look here as Rodney sits right here. And he's going to come up and make this. Now, this isn't a tackle for loss, but he hits him in the backfield. He hits his butt in the backfield, right? He knows, look, I may be 180 pounds, but if I dive on top of him sideways, my weight and momentum is going to carry him down. Boom. That's right. Rodney McLeod gets back there and makes a big play against a guy twice his size. Here we got another zone, right? And we got Rodney McLeod up close and personal, right? And he's going to play the shallow outside zone. But he actually does multiple things on this play. Oh, my goodness. Let's just watch it. Woo! What a play. So first thing he's going to do is he's going to get hands on him, and he's going to push him out wide. All right? Let's keep watching this. Gets up. You know, a little bit of contact. Make sure he gets out wide. That way he's nearer the defender out here. Then he turns immediately. After pushing, look, his eyes immediately looking back at Tannehill, right? Immediately looking back at Tannehill. And he notices Tannehill staring. Sees Robert Woods right here. Robert Woods immediately stops. Tannehill staring him down. Rodney's like, crap, Robert Woods got a lot of speed. There's a little bit of space here. If he, can, if he can catch and turn, there's a good chance he gets a first down, right? Catch and turn, that's a first down. He ain't having none of that. Look at his knees already. He's breaking towards the ball. Breaks in, dives, bam, knocks that ball down. No play. No play. That is a great pass defense right there. That is how you play zone defense. We've seen this play over and over and over. I don't think there was a guy on the Indianapolis Colts defense that could read, react, to running back screen plays quite like Rodney McLeod. Let's take a look at this play against the New England Patriots. Nope. 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 Oh my goodness. Keep an eye right here. He's already, he's, he's kind of creeping up, right? Creeping up. Fakes the handoff. He, again, you know, he sees him turn around. He sees a guy starting to move out. He knows. He knows, he saw, he sees the football going out there. All he's got to do is get there before this lineman can get to him. And guess what? Bam, he does. Look at the tackle for loss on that. Another one. Four or five yards deep against who else but the New England Patriots. Hey guys, please smash that like button, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed, and tag that notification bell so that you're notified next time I go live. Don't forget, you can also share this video to your favorite social media and please open up that description of the video. In there, you find a link to my Patreon, which is only five bucks a month. You get all of my content plus Patreon-specific content and, of course, my merch shop right here. In the game against the Philadelphia Eagles, the Indianapolis Colts lost by one point and it was not because of the efforts of of the Indianapolis Colts defense. They only allowed 17 points, and a big part of that was the play of safety Rodney McLeod. Let's take a look at this play. 
Oh, that was beautiful. My goodness. Keep an eye. He's right here playing the shot. This is an interesting setup right here uh, as the Colts line up in this defensive formation. This is beautiful. You got four shallow, two mid, one deep. You got Devonta Smith. It's going to come over the middle, right? He's just going to come over the middle. Rodney sees the ball being thrown, and he's got to make this cut. Do you understand how hard it is for a safety to come over the top of a defender, knock the ball down from over the top of the defender without getting a pass interference call? Wow. Goes to show you, even at his age, Rodney McLeod still has the ability to make some fantastic plays out there in space. But again, box safety. Box safety. Let's keep an eye. He's right here. Let's let's watch this as this as this play hands off. Hands it off. He just weaves his way in and out. In and out. Makes the tackle right there at the goal line. Beautifully done. Watch how he weaves in and out of this in order to make sure. Ooh, nope, nope. You can't block me. Got around a free blocker, then around the guy that was being blocked to get in the hole where the running back is to make this tackle at the goal line. It's actually a TFL, loss of a yard. Great job, Rodney McLeod. Pittsburgh Steelers known for being aggressive and laying the big hits on defense. Rodney McLeod can lay the big hits himself. Keep an eye right here as he's at the top of the screen, and you're going to see a little swing out pass to the running back as he reads, reacts, gets there. Bam! Boom! Puts him down. Oh my goodness. Another TFL on that pass play. I am impressed with the amount of hitting power that Rodney McLeod brings from the safety position. It's another play, another pass defense. Man, this dude is tackling for loss and pass defense monster. Wow. He has been an absolute stud so far this year as we're going through these film. Let's take a look right here. That's Fryermuth. That's right. Tied in. Pretty good tied in for the Steelers here. And we got Rodney McLeod back here at the goal line. Let's take a look. He watches, reads, dives in, bam, gets his hand on the football, knocks it down. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Oh, wow. He just sits there, looks, saw him cut. Right here at the goal line, and he makes his move. He makes his move. He gets behind him, adjusts, stops, cuts around him, gets that hand out there, knocks the ball down. You can't ask for anything better than that. Rodney McLeod's just so good at reading the quarterback's eyes and knowing where he's going to go with the football and just breaking on it. Let's keep an eye as, you know, McLeod over here on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen comes in, and you see Dalton Schultz, right? Uh, uh, no. No, no, no. Great job getting a hand in there, knocking his hand back, right? Knocking that hand back, beautifully done. Gets his hand right out there, right in front of Schultz's hands. Hits his arm, tips up off of his forearm, then hits Schultz's helmet, and it bounces up into the air. Oh, my. Great job, Rodney McLeod. He's probably upset. He's probably upset he didn't get a pick there. How many TFLs can a safety have in a season? Are you kidding me? Let's keep an eye as he starts to creep back up into the box right here. Oh, my goodness. Bam. Boom. Smack. What? Wow. Read that from the get-go. Drove right up. Watched. Bam. Jeez. I'll tell you what. The Cowboys tied in was not a happy camper this game, was he? Minnesota Vikings. We all know what happened in this game. It was a record-setting event that happened in the second half of the game. But, let's keep an eye. Doesn't mean that he didn't play well. He absolutely did as we keep an eye right here. Let's watch. He stopped a big play right there. Oh my. What a pass defense. Steps back, reads, gets deep enough. 
sees the throw happening and breaks immediately. There's plenty of time. This, this is wide open, ladies and gentlemen. In the NFL, you don't get more open than this. This should be a catch and run. Rodney makes the play on the ball, knocks the ball down out of the hands of the receiver. What a play. He took a play that should have been a catch and run. Incomplete. Wow. TFLs, ladies and gentlemen. TFLs against who? Running backs. What? Yeah, of course. Rodney McLeod, keep an eye right here. That's Saquon Barkley, ladies and gentlemen. That's a heck of a running back. Let's keep an eye. Let's see how he plays this. He played that perfectly. Played it perfectly. If we keep an eye, as, he, as his ball snap, his job is the running back. 100%. You see, it's immediately Jones throws the football out to him. Rodney McLeod goes out, gets the right angle, inside, lines up face-to-face, -face, makes sure he can't cut in. He knows he's got a little bit of help inside, so he's got to pay attention to the outside line. Barkley starts to make an outside move, gets pushed out, loss of yardage here, loss of yardage. He goes out two yards for a tackle for loss. Great job, Rodney, great job. Last game of the year against the Houston Texans. What, is there a better way to end a season than getting an interception on the last game of the year? Yeah, let's watch. Let's watch this play. Hoo -hoo. Oh, no, no, that's right. That's a pick six, ladies and gentlemen. That's a pick six. Absolutely. freaking -lutely. Oh, my goodness. And he does this from the other side of the field. He goes from one side to the other side. He even talked to me about this play right here. You know, he baited all day. He Here he is. On this side of the field, the ball's going to be passed over here. He waits, watches, sees it getting ready to happen, knows this ball's about to be thrown, giving him plenty of time, thinking, okay, quarterback can make this quick pass. No way he can make a play on the ball, right? He's baiting. Look at his back. Look at how wide his feet are. He's waiting to break. And... As soon as he kicks that arm, he's breaking. Breaking right towards the football. Walks right in front of it. Feels like he's throwing it right to Rodney McLeod. Picks this ball off and then look. Green. Green. There's only one guy has a shot for him. One guy. Rodney turns, looks. He's like, he, he thinks this is a guaranteed touchdown. He turns and sees the quarterback chasing him, and in his mind, he even stated on the show, what's he doing? What's he doing? Should I cut back inside on him? But no, he knew he had the angle to get to the pylon, and that's all he needed. Great job, Rodney. Way to finish out the 2022 season. Guys, if you enjoyed this, please smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. Tag that notification bell so that you are notified next time I go live or upload a video, including another one of these. Please hit that like button. Also, drop a comment. Let me know who's the next player that I should highlight for the Indianapolis Colts 2022 season. And until next time, as usual, have a good one. Just because a guy's a player is not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.